One time only. One time. Phone off. Let's go. And here's the parking lot where the marching band does their summer band camp. Got the lines painted here on the parking lot. And it looks like they got the uh, circles for one of the drills that they're known for doing. So as you get to the concert information, snare drum, give me a roll. Y'all come out face, all right? You don't have to dance, I just wanna make sure we got it coming out, okay? You know where you go? You go into concert information in the music. You know where you go? Yeah. Oh, no. So yeah, this is where it all goes down. You can see they got the numbers marked on the parking lot like a football field. That goes all the way down, Taylor. But this is where he would do his band count, man. And it's just amazing to be here throughout all these years, the history that has developed from the Southern University Human Jukebox Marching Band. So anyway, if you're a fan of HBCUs, when you go to Jackson State University or FAMU or Alcorn State or Southern University, Tennessee State, places like that, it just kind of makes you feel good to know that you're actually walking on a campus of significant history when it comes to those marching bands. Isaac Gregg Band Hall on the campus of Southern University. The human jukebox, baby. Number one band in the country. There he is, the legend, Isaac Griggs. The late Isaac Griggs, former band director of Southern University. Fabulous dancing dolls. And in case you forgot, once again, there it is, the number one band in the country. The Human Jukebox of Southern University in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. So the human jukebox has got a little rehearsal going on right now. Getting ready for the Bayou Classic next weekend. 
and I'm just here soaking it all in. This is actually the uh, football stadium where they play the games. And they're having practice around here, around the corner. Can't really do a recording of the uh, rehearsal up close.